Did you know that 4 Classic completely overhauled the keyboard settings? What about the fully built-in macro system? Oh, I... I didn't teach you yet. No worries! I'm here to explain everything there is to know about it. Let's go! Let's start with the keyboard settings. There are a bunch of quality of life features implemented here. You are now able to have 6 different keybinds and you can even associate each one with one or more classes. This is very handy for players who like to play as multiple classes. And to make things easier, you can copy a keymap set from one profile and paste into another, so you don't have to make each one from scratch. Additionally, you can now disable keybinds for certain actions. If you like to be as organized as me, this is a must. I don't want to have keybinds set for actions I don't use. I like to start on a clean state and only set the keys for actions I'm using. Now onto the macro builder. Previously, you had to either buy an expensive mouse or use a sketchy software that would probably trigger the hack shield or not work completely. With this feature built in, you just need to define a key and you're done. You can set your macro to run once, run while we're holding the defined key, toggle your macro between on and off, or make it run a predefined number of times. This is your list of macros and 4Classic already provides you some sensible defaults. Play with them to see what they're capable of. You might even not need to create custom ones for yourself. If you're a perfectionist like me, you want to create your own macro, tweaked to the millisecond. I'll show you how to do it. Click on Add Macro and you'll start on a clean state. You can record your actions to convert them to a macro, but that's not really optimal because you'd have to tweak too many delays or other movements in order to remove the human-like behavior. So let's clear the macro and start from scratch. I want to create one that moves and attacks automatically, so I add an action and choose pressing down on the left movement key. I add a sensible delay. Now I add a silent hit. And then I release the left movement key. Now I repeat the process for all other attack skills I want to use, while moving left and right. And by the way, one great aspect about this macro system is that I don't even need to place the skills in my skill bar. It just works! There was a ton of work put into this feature, so we really hope you liked it. And if you notice something is not working correctly, please give us some feedback in our Discord. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss videos like this. My name is Whitey Tiger and I'll see you next time.